2018, NATO launched an advisory and capacity building mission in Iraq. The objective of this non-combat mission is to strengthen Iraqi institutions and armed forces. All NATO activities in Iraq are at the request of the Iraqi government and carried out in full respect of Iraq's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Now, five years later, where do we stand? Our teams have been on site to give you better understanding of the work these men and women who advise, assist and train their Iraqi counterparts every day. Seven a.m. on Sunday, first day of the week, the Protection Forces team is about to leave to escort an advisor in Baghdad. Vito is a lieutenant colonel in the Italian army, specialized in crisis management. Today we are going to meet with one of our interlocutors, Major General Hussein. He is the deputy head of the Department of Engineer and Support and with him we are going to discuss uh, an upcoming training on civil emergency uh, planning and preparedness. The goal is to achieve a positive result in the situation with the crisis and the crisis and the crisis and the crisis. And also, the crisis and 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 the crisis. The Mosul Dam is one of the likely scenarios that we prepare for in close coordination with our Iraqi partners. If this dam collapses in few hours, more than six million people will be flooded. So we will require immediate evacuation. And the evacuation is a job where the civilian authority will be on lead, but the military will, will provide critical support. Vito also assists the Iraqi authorities to establish plans in order to provide an appropriate response to future crisis. Crises are period of time that are out of the ordinary and this situation they create stress or pressures over the population and over the overall uh, national resilience system. Uh, an example of crisis here in Iraq is the massive uh, number of displaced people due to the uh, uh, past conflicts and due to the uh, migration flow. So our job is also to ensure that the military uh, component is able to uh, coordinate the humanitarian response to provide uh, immediate relief and all the basic needs for the population, such as health services, food, and all the basic uh, commodities to uh, save the people of displaced. We move on from the Engineering and Support Department to Taji in the northwest of Baghdad, home of Iraq's elite non-commissioned officers' school. There we meet Captain Tom from the Royal Navy. He and his team are in charge of helping and reforming military education institutions. Today we're here with the non-commissioned officers' school, working with them to update their leadership courses. These are important because they will help train and professionalise Iraq's non-commissioned officers to help them progress through a more logical career structure and make them better leaders of Iraq's soldiers. So what we're trying to do is introduce a series of courses and career structures that will better match the skills and the qualifications to the ranks of Iraq's non-commissioned officers. To implement these reforms, the captain relies on his advisers especially Warrant Officer Yanis from the Latvian Army. At this moment, he is leading an advisory session with the school's instructors. Today's session is not only about understanding the processes and developing training programmes, but also assisting instructors to adopt more modern teaching techniques. Our main goal is to understand what they need to improve to become more efficient and more professional in curriculum development process. من خلال التعاون مع مستشاري الناتو يمكننا أن نستفيد من خبراتهم ونعمل معا لتحقيق تقدم وتطور في العراق.
NATO Mission Iraq is the direct result of the government of Iraq asking NATO to uh, assist them to build their capacity, not only um, of their security institutions, but also their security forces. In that way, our advisors are helping the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Interior to have a lasting effect uh, that can be sustained by the government of Iraq after this mission ceases. Since August 2023, at the request of the Iraqi authorities, the NATO mission in Iraq includes advisory and capacity building activities in support of the Iraqi Ministry of Interior and the Federal Police Command. Today we are following a practical workshop. Its purpose is to train the trainers in order to enhance teaching techniques in the Iraqi Educational Institute. We are focusing on how to apply police techniques to the daily duty, especially working on crowd and riot control techniques and uh, special intervention uh, techniques. How to stop a car, how to arrest a suspect, how to conduct a personal search. He put the handcuff on the first hand. The Director General for Training the Federal Police explains to us how the Federal Police Command are evolving their tactics and procedures. وكان تطبيقهم لحماية المظاهرات ووفق حقوق الإنسان هدفهم حماية المتظاهرين عدم تعرضهم إلى أذى وتطبيق القوانين العراقية في حماية التظاهرات ومارسوا هذه العمل بمهنية جدا عالية Nowadays, uh, Iraqi federal police is uh, facing a great change. They are moving from a, a mostly combatant organization to a police organization. This is the great challenge they are facing, switching also their minds and their techniques and their tactics and their procedures from a particularly military point of view to a police point of view. This will help them to stabilize their country and maintain law and order and protect all the Iraqi institutions. وخير مثال على ذلك هي حماية الزيارة المليونية في أربعينية الإمام الحسين عليه السلام زيارة تقريبا أربعة وعشرين مليون إنسان في بقعة معينة وكان حمايتهم وأمنهم بل أحيانا قدمنا لهم المساعدات. الإدارية مساعدات في النقل وهذا كل يأتي لوجود تدريب حقيقي ساهم به الكاربينيري. NATO Mission Iraq is not the only assistance and training mission in this country. NATO complements broader international efforts to help Iraq eradicate terrorism and promote stability. We will show you just one example of the bilateral training programs that are happening here. For that, our team went to Erbil in the north of the country to illustrate this type of mission. In this region, units need to be trained to recognize improvised explosive devices. Italian units specializing in counter mining operations help them in this essential task for the security of the population. The explosive devices are a very important problem because in the past the Daesh using this method for attack the population, the, the objective for today. After a detailed briefing, the soldiers set off towards the training ground. The mission is to find and mark any explosive devices they can find. This training offers several scenarios, both outdoors and also inside homes. Once improvised explosive devices are discovered, military units will call on their explosives ordnance disposal specialists. This specialist, like all in Iraq, was trained in Baghdad. The trainers at the school are taught by the advisors with the NATO mission. Here we are training the trainers for the regiments on the division level. We are getting a um, type of exchange of experience 
because we know the Iraqi armed forces gained a lot of experience during the wars and now we are going to get them closer to NATO procedures handling mines and IEDs. The um, Iraqi armed forces had to get a common understanding of how they can work together in joint and combined exercises. For example, when a soldier on the combat field uh, see or finds an IED or mine, he has to call the specialist, in this case the specialist from the EUD school here, and he comes and manages the problem with the mine. We can see through this example how the different missions in this territory complement each other. See you tomorrow. See you later. By providing advice and expertise over the past five years to the Ministries of Defence and Interior and military educational establishments, the advisors are helping the Iraqi armed forces and security institutions to put in place sustainable, more effective, more transparent and more inclusive security structures. This will enable them to meet current and future security challenges and contribute to a more stable security situation for Iraqi people.